Welcome to our practice today. Thank you for being here. We will be using um, some kind of a strap as well as a block for our class today. The strap could be a belt or a thin long towel. <laughs> and then the block, it could also be a bolster or a really sturdy cushion. Uh, but this will be used for our final pose um, after a very mellow practice. So I hope that you're ready for some mellow opening today. Remember to please always go at your own pace. There's never any rush. There's never any pressure to keep up or to do what you think you should do. Um, do what you know is best for your body. So find a comfortable way to sit, if you haven't already. You're welcome to have your legs crossed or your legs straight out in front of you. Eyes can be closed or your eyes softly open, looking downward. Dive right into your breath. Let every breath comb through your inner landscape so that you get really clear on how you're feeling in this moment. As though your breath is helping you wake up to every nook and cranny of your body. And your breath is making you more aware of what's going on right now. Perhaps sit a little taller while softening your shoulders down. As you direct your attention to your body, let your body feel incredibly relaxed and open. Transfer your attention onto your body and towards your breath and let yourself again feel more relaxed and open. I have a simple little reminder for all of us right now a little poem, a little prayer, just open up your ear canals and receive the words that I'll offer to you and to me. A challenge. Stay open. In a world that wants to zip you up, simply stay open. from your eyes and hands and heart and mind. A challenge, stay open. In a world that wants to zip you up, simply stay open. From your eyes and hands and heart and mind. going to do a little bit for the shoulders and the neck to begin. It tends to be an area where anxiety and tension is really held. Please feel free to just adjust your seat at all, move around at all. It's okay. 
Make yourself comfortable just so we can get into the neck and shoulders. As you next inhale, squeeze your shoulders up to your ears. And as you exhale, send your shoulders back and down. Do that a couple more times. Inhale, squeeze up the tension. Exhale them back and down. Two more. And now reverse it, so going back and up as you inhale and forward and down as you exhale. Three more times. Hands can be on thighs or your knees. Circle your head really slowly in one direction. Never rushing when we're starting to access the neck muscles. The neck is so vulnerable. Go slow. Redirect your focus to your breath and to your body. Just for now, you can set aside any distracting thoughts. Circle your head in the other direction if you haven't already. No rush. And coming through center, with your head upright and your spine nice and tall. Uh, lift your arms up in front of you and wrap your left forearm under your right forearm or your left elbow under your right elbow. And take your elbows forward and up somewhat while leaning back and down through your sitting bones. Explore lifting your elbows maybe a little higher Shoulders coming down away from ears. Let's take three breaths right here. Be curious about where you feel this across your shoulders or your upper back. One more breath. Now maintain the arms, but lift your elbows a touch higher as you inhale. And as you exhale, lean back and draw your elbows towards your belly button. So just a little rounding. Lengthen up through your spine. Take your elbows up as you inhale. And as you exhale, round. Tuck your tailbone underneath. One more. Inhale up, up through the sides of your waist. And round in. Untangle your arms, maybe give your arms a little shake, 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 and let's find the other side. So it might be right elbow under left elbow now, or whichever side you haven't done. <laughs> and then lift up through your elbows and your forearms. Elbows squeezing into one another. Lengthen up through your side body. Make your inhales as long as your exhales. Our intention today is simply to open up, opening up through the breath into the physical body. And maybe there's something a little deeper that you're working to open as well or open to. It's all possible. Let's flow a little bit. Inhale, maybe a little higher. And then round in. Cinch your navel in and your waistline in. Two more going up. Breathe out as you round and open your upper back. One more. Come on up, 
give your arms a little shake, shake, shake out. And from here, uh, reach both arms up overhead. I'm going to interlace my fingers with palms flipping up to the ceiling. It might feel a little more comfortable in your shoulders if your hands are split apart, that's fine too. Try to line up biceps beside ears. Lift your chest as you breathe in. As you breathe out, round and press your palms forward, arms parallel to the floor. Come on up as you inhale. Go at the pace that serves you, that's best for you. Exhale to round. A few more times on your own. And then we'll meet with both arms up, split your hands apart in the sky so that your arms are shoulder width apart or maybe a little bit wider. Take your right fingers down to the floor and walk your right fingertips just away from the right hip and side bend over to the right. Turn your right shoulder more forward and your left shoulder back. Ground your left sitting bone Enjoy about three or four breaths into all the muscles between your left ribs. Again, just enjoying that simple intention of opening today. Staying on this side, bend your top arm and place your hand behind your head. Now, as you next exhale, round so that your elbow comes down towards the right knee. Doesn't have to touch, mine doesn't touch. And then as you inhale, open it up. And maybe look your left eye up beyond your left elbow. And as you exhale, round to opposite knee. Continue at your own pace. Take your time. Come on up. Reach both arms up overhead. And walk your left fingertips away from your left sitting bone. Stretch up and over towards the left. Extend your top arm even straighter if you can. And as much as you tip up and over to the left, ground through the right sitting bone. Really sweet, full breaths. Bend your top arm and just place your palm behind your skull. As you next exhale, Round so that your right elbow comes close to your left knee, not touching necessarily, chin in. Open, turn, and arc your upper spine towards the sky. Exhale to round. A few more times.
with your hands down, come up to sitting. And now take the soles of your feet together, knees wide open. Fold over your legs. You can make it uh, passive, absolutely. So that might mean that your palms face up towards the ceiling. And maybe that you round your spine and you let go into the fold without forcing anything. You're welcome to just let go here. Just see what openings occur when you let go. Remain committed to breathing mindfully and breathing in a regulated way through your nose. Slowly walk your hands or your forearms over to the right. You might be up on your hands or down on your elbows as though you're trying to bow over the right shin, through the center of the right shin. Keep the back of your left bum pressing down and notice how the stretch has shifted a little bit when you're off center. Come through center and gently over to the other side. Nice. Sense your capacity to open more and more with every breath that you take. Come through center for one final deep breath down the middle. Exhale it out your mouth. Slowly come up to sitting with me. Now grab hold of your strap. I've got one here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to be on my knees, but uh, some of you might prefer to stand up. You can always stand instead of being on your knees doesn't really work for you. If you are going to stand, make sure that your feet are about hip width apart from one another. Now the strap is in your hands. We're just going to do a little more for our shoulders here. Yay, more shoulders. Strap or belt or whatever you have um, in your hands. Now you'll need to probably play around with how far apart the strap is. Take your strap up and pull it really taut. And then your arms go back and down. And you might find you need to give a little more <laughs> leverage on the strap, a little more space. Going up and down in front. And then going up and back and down. Don't have to go all the way down. And up and down in front. Let's keep going like this. Up. Knit your front ribs in, especially as your arms go back, navel into spine. A few more rounds.
meet me with the strap up overhead and side bend over to the right, up and over to the right. Keeps trying to split the strap in two so that your right hand is inching a little lower towards the ground, but your left hand is trying to pull the strap straight up. Enjoy another deep breath here. Hug your navel in, come on up slowly and to the other side. Chin away from your chest. You feel a lot of strength through your arm muscles as your hands try to pull the strap out in each direction. Down and up simultaneously. Hug navel in, slowly come up. Just one more here with the strap back behind you. Find the stickiest spot. <laughs> or maybe there are a lot of sticky spots, but try to find one and then bend your elbows a couple inches and send your elbows forward and up and your chest up. Actively pull the strap apart with your strong arms and hands. Two more breaths. Hug your navel in, your strap up, down in front of you. You can just set that aside until a little bit later. Let's meet in child's pose. And it'll probably feel quite nice to have your arms extended out in front of you in this child's pose after all that shoulder love just experienced. Feeling, if you can, just for now, just two directions in this pose. One direction is back and down through your bum. The other direction is forward through your arms and your hands. Maybe crawl your hands a little further out in front of you. Get longer and stretchier in the sides of your waist and take five deep breaths. Can you stay curious about what is opening or what needs attention, what needs opening right now in your body? Feel free to stay in child's pose longer. That's what this type of class is so great for, is that there's no pressure to stay with the class. Um, you can always, you know, kind of ease off whenever you wish. But if you are going to move with me, we'll come through hands and knees and take a few cat-cows on your own, arcing and rounding your spine. No rush at all. And simply step your right foot between your hands. 
and maybe walk your left knee further back behind you. Left fingertips off your mat to the left. Reach your right arm up in the sky for a nice big open twist. Here's another opportunity to um, extend and expand across your upper chest, opening the fronts of your shoulders. And again, nice uh, thigh opener through your left leg, through your left thigh, lunge into your right knee. Maybe remain just as you are. If you want to go further, then you can grab hold of your back ankle. The strap might be useful for you here. You can always wrap your strap around your back ankle. And grab hold of it. Breathe open your whole body. With little extra attention down through the hips and your pelvis. Sweetly release your back foot down if you have it. Hands frame your front foot. Shift your hips back for a half splits pose. Pop up onto your right heel. Be sure that your hips are lifted over your back knee. You can always walk your back knee further back. And with a little bend in your front knee and an active flex through your front foot, Tilt your sitting bones back behind you. And maybe stay upright or a little fold. Doesn't have to be the biggest fold of the day, especially if your low back rounds a little. You'll find more of a stretch if you stick your sitting bones back, keep your chest open rather than a really deep fold and a rounded fold. That just causes strain more often than not. Take about five breaths for your hamstrings. Sweetly rebend your right knee, plant your foot, and now walk your right foot over to the left one or two inches. Find your right foot in the center of your hands. Lift the toes of your foot and come onto the outer edge of your foot for an awkward pigeon. I always take my hands flat and forward a touch. And the right knee, it'll fall away from you about halfway towards the floor. I love to sway my hips side to side for a couple breaths. Just to get really clear on all the ways my hips hold on to tightness. <laughs> In all the sides, all the sways, there's tightness. And I also shift my hips back for a couple breaths. And then I send my hips towards the front heel for a couple breaths. So I'm going back and up and then forward and down. With a really good flex in the front foot the whole while, strong around the ankle joint. Now find your, your sweet little sticky spot and take three more breaths. Good. 
Come to hands and knees. Meet me in all, on all fours. And now it's your choice if you'd like to take some cat cows or child's pose. I'll be enjoying some cat cows. Do what's right. Do what supports your own process of opening. From tabletop, step your left foot between your hands. Wonderful. Back knee on the ground. Walk your right fingertips off to the right. Reach your left arm up. And I'll invite you to find what you, uh, variation that you took on the other side. So if the arm stays up, great. If you use a strap around your back ankle, great or your hand can reach for your back ankle. And pull your heel towards the outer edge of your glute, towards your outer right bum. Spiral your chest to the left and maybe up towards the ceiling a touch. And be willing to breathe into the places that, that don't feel so open. This is how we create change and how we make space. It's by opening up to all the challenges and all the discomfort with breath, with gentleness. Last two breaths here. Let down your foot for a half splits. Your hands on either side of your left foot. Extend your left leg any amount. A little bend in left knee is always smart. Toes flex towards your face. And now lengthen from your hips forward to your armpits. Send your sitting bones back. And if you are going to fold, you're lengthening up over and down your left leg. So your spine is long. Actively dig your heel into the mat as though you could drag your heel towards you, but it won't move. Flatten the sole of your left foot as you bend your left knee. One more on this side. Wiggle your front foot over to the right an inch or two for our awkward pigeon. So roll to the pinky toe edge of your left foot. Toes flex up to shin. And you could sway your hips side to side with me. Just make this uh, feel like something, just make it feel. <laughs> so if you move a bit, or if you don't need to move in order to feel a lot, then you can of course be a little more still. Maybe your hips pull back and up, and then forward, really bending your front knee a few times, back and forward.
And then for the last few breaths, find the area that you know you need to stay in. Find that little spot. Make your way onto hands and knees. You could take a downward facing dog or cat cows on hands and knees or a child's pose. Make your way onto your back. Have your props with you so that uh, they're kind of beside your mat and within reach. Once you're on your back, stretch your left leg long and hug your right knee into your chest. Interlace your fingers around your right shin. Splay your ten toes apart. Press your outer shoulders down to broaden your chest. And with every exhale, perhaps hug your right thigh in tighter to your right abdomen. Now use your strap or your belt or whatever you have right now around the sole of your right foot. Stretch your right leg up to the ceiling. I always kind of loop the strap around my fingers a couple times. And you can walk your hands up the strap so that your arms are straight if that serves you. Now feel the strap pull down on your foot but press the ball of your foot back up into the strap. Lengthening your tailbone down, keeping the natural curve in your low back. And make your top leg so active, press up into the strap, but also so that if there were no strap there, your top leg would swing forward and down onto the ground. Be here, be exactly as you are. Breathe into what's happening in the moment. And you can trust that you are opening. With your right leg still up, take your right hand to clasp around both ends of the strap and let your right leg fall out to the right just halfway. And bring your right elbow onto the floor. And now work your right foot up to your right ear a little more so that it's like your leg is coming back on a kind of in a half V shape beside your head, not just straight out to the right, but up towards your right ear. Left hand on left hip. Flex your foot into the strap for three or four breaths. Hug 
hug your belly button in and down, slowly lift your leg up, move the strap to the side, and bend your left leg, place your left foot on the floor, cross your right ankle over your left thigh, or thread the needle. If there's space, then you can lift your left foot up and interlace your fingers behind your left hamstrings. Envision that you could breathe into where you feel the stretch down your outer right hip. Imagine there's a lung there and you're breathing into that spot. Maintain the shape of your legs, but let your left foot fall back down. And take the number four shape and swing it all the way to the left. So it's not quite an eagle legs twist. What you'll have is your right foot flat and your right knee pointing up to the ceiling. Take your left hand to clasp around the front of your right shin. Just anchor your right foot down. Reach your right arm back in line with your right ear. Send your right knee away from your face and stretch your right arm back. Notice how your breath affects your body and maybe how your breath is affecting your emotional state right now or your mental state. I'm sure that much has shifted and maybe a lot has settled since you first started the practice. Your breath is really your ally when you're looking to feel grounding and when you're looking to open up. Really, whenever you're wanting to be aware in any way, your breath can support you. Final breath, big stretch here. Gently untangle yourself so that your feet are flat on the ground and your legs are bent. Take one breath in the middle. Oh, nice difference from one hip to the other hip. Hug your left knee in, clasp your hands and reach your right leg straight down and away from you. Keep your feet active and your arms active as they engage to pull your left knee in, right leg pressing down into the ground. A couple deep breaths. One more time, grab your strap around the ball of your left foot, left leg up. Use your strap to pull down on the leg, splay your toes, lengthen your tailbone into the floor, feel a little lightness through the low back. 
natural curve in the low back as you press your tailbone down and away. Zipper your inner thighs a little closer together and have a good breathe right here. Prepare to access the left inner thigh by clasping your left hand around the sides of the strap. Open your leg just halfway to the left. So the goal isn't really all the way to the ground. The goal actually is to pull your foot more up towards your left ear. So not just straight out to the left, up to your ear. You can always bend your left knee a little or a lot. I love to bring my left elbow down so that I have something to rest on. <laughs> so the arm isn't doing a lot of work. <laughs> Park your right hand on top of your right hip. A few big breaths. Gently lift your leg up. Bend your other leg so your right foot is flat. You can release the strap now to the side. Cross your left ankle over your right thigh for thread the needle. Hands can lace behind the shin or behind the hamstrings. Be mindful of all the sensations around your outer left hip without judging them. Opening up to all that you're feeling is really the practice. Breathing it all in and breathing it all out. Two more breaths. Release your fingers so your right foot can come back down. Now take this number four shape of your legs, tip it over to the right. Stamp the sole of your left foot down. Take your right hand and grip around the front of your left shin. Reach your left arm back beside your left ear. And now without moving the left foot, press your left knee away from your face. Stretch your left arm back. Let your breath soak into all the stiff and stuck areas. Mm -hmm. 
you can create more and more space. You don't need to have a story around everything. You don't need to overanalyze it or over explain it. Just use your breath and make more and more space. You take your time to unwind with your feet flat on your mat and your legs bent. Take your block or your cushion and lift your hips off the ground and slide your block or your cushion underneath your lower back or even under your sacrum. Your sacrum is between your bum flesh and your low back, so just at the top of your bum. You can have that cushion or pillow or, or block. And if it's feeling, if your back feels a bit sensitive today, then maybe no block. You can stretch your legs a little straighter instead. But if you do have a cushion under you or a block, walk your feet mat width apart. Let your knees slightly fall in. Take your arms in any way or any shape that keeps your chest open, chin off chest. And allow yourself to feel all that you're feeling. And to breathe in a way that gives you permission. Breathe in a way that helps you to feel relaxed amidst all the feelings that come and go. You can relax. I invite you to remain as you are, if this feels restful for you. Or whenever it's time, you can plant your feet, lift your hips, remove your block, and lie down for corpse pose with either legs straight or legs in a diamond shape on the ground. Let go of all your efforts.
welcome to remain as you are or to finish class. You could also meet me in a seated position. You can always decide what's right for you. Wherever you are, do one final check-in with a deep breath. A challenge. Stay open. In a world that wants to zip you up, Simply stay open from your eyes and hands and heart and mind. I hope that you'll leave class feeling a little more open, maybe physically and maybe emotionally or mentally. And maybe you have a little more insight onto how to, towards how to access this openness out in the world with others. That's always where it counts. Thank your body. Thank all the wisdom you've received from your teachers. Namaste.